Okay guys, I lied in my last video. I have pickups to show you, I'm sorry. Okay, basically I didn't lie, I just more forgot to mention about a haul that I came across. I say I came across, so I was actually given, which is great, of PS1 and PS2 stuff. Um, now it seems like nowadays is a great time to be sort of picking up stuff for PS1 and especially PS2 for how dirt cheap everything is. But you'll often find a lot of people are just happy to, to you know, they're, they're not gamers anymore or they just don't want their previous gen stuff and they're just happy to get rid or find you know a good home for someone who's a collector and luckily um, my my in-laws is um, my my wife's um, uncle is getting rid of his PS1 and I haven't owned the original PS1 console since maybe well over 10 years ago when I donated it to my uh, sister's uh, fella at the time because I had a PS2 and I didn't need the original console you know um, but I was for a while considering picking up a, an original console just for the collection more than anything, obviously it's not necessary for me to have one, owning the PS2 and all, but uh, it's just nice to have. So, yes, he donated me the actual original console. Um, it's one of the newer models. My original model had the um, the AV outs uh, in separate um, yellow, red, white sockets. Um, I assume the multi out was in there as well. Um, so yeah, that's fine. It comes with uh, the cable, but I've got a PS2 cable to use anyway, rather than the old RF unit that's obviously dreadful in this day and age. Uh, console's a little bit battered. Um, not, I mean, it could do with a bit of cleaning, which I will go over and clean. I say battered; it's more just a bit of dirt and stuff and dust. It's been sitting upstairs probably for you know 15 years or so up in, up in his loft. Um, but he was happy for me to take it off his hands, which is always great. Came with two of the original digital controllers, so no analog sticks on them. But to be honest, most of my PS1 gaming days were all about the D-pad anyway, so it's not a problem. Um, he's also dug up a load of PS2 and PS1 games. Um, a couple that I'm glad to have added to my collection is ones I would actually consider buying, and then others that are just good to have anyway. Um, obviously with a lot of PS1 games, especially in this country, the UK, the cases break easily, so a few of the cases are a bit damaged, but I've got Rayman, so it's still a solid platform, it still looks nice today. Um, some of these games I don't know too much about, to be fair, but um, yeah, they're here anyway. Uh, WCW Backstage Assaults, which um, I've heard back in the day was terrible, considering that uh, this came around around the year 2000, so that's when the first Smackdown game was already out, I think. Um, and the Smackdown 2 came out in the year 2000, I think, and they had backstage sections within the main wrestling game. So you'd have the full on wrestling game and the backstage stuff, whereas this. Um, it's just backstage brawling, so I'm not sure how much is, uh, is is that good a game. It's made by EA, or I think made of a couple of the previous ones like uh, Thunder, maybe. Was that THQ? Not sure. Anyway, this is an EA game, so I think THQ took on SmackDown. So yeah, I'll see that what that's like. Because as a wrestling fan, you know I'm going to know a lot of the wrestlers from that sort of era. It's obviously towards the end of WCW's run. Um, obviously, classic here, Resident Evil 2. Never actually owned this back in the day. I did borrow it off Tugboat a few times. It's actually my favourite of the original trilogy, so that's really cool to own again. That's one I would have picked up if I'd seen it at a decent price. Uh, Knockout Kings 2000. You know what? Didn't play a lot of boxing games on the, during this era. I think Ready to Rumble, I played a bit on the Dreamcast and stuff. Um, but I quite like boxing games, not gonna lie, I played a few back in the early, early days, you know. Super Punch Out, does that count? Punch Out, maybe. Uh, the Italian Job, um, not sure if this is cashing in on the remake movie, maybe not, I think that came a few years later. So this is set in London in 1969. Um, not that familiar with the developers for this one. SCI, um, Paramount, well, I guess they own the rights of the film. Um, one of the reviews quoted from PlayStation Power, faster than Gran Turismo, crazier than Crazy Taxi. Doesn't necessarily mean that's good though, does it? Really, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, beach volleyball, which is an interesting one. Um, I remember owning Super Spike Volleyball on the NES, and that was quite a good fun game. That'd be something I'd like to pick up again. And um, we'll talk about me collecting my NES list another time. Um, 
we'll see. I mean, it's a sports game, and it's on the PS1. It's probably going to look poor, but it might play okay. And this is developed by Again, again, I'm not sure. I've got Canal Multimedia, so Infograms. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, another game, not that familiar with, Spec Ops Com Covert Assault. Um, the back of it doesn't really give a lot away. Not that familiar with the game. We'll try it out at some point. It's on the on the list. We'll say. Then we move on to a pile of PS2 games. Again, some I am familiar with and some not so much. Uh, Robot Wars Arenas of Destruction. Now, I I like the idea of Robot Wars. Never really watched it much in my youth. I know it's back on again now. Um, that is kind of cool, you know, build a robot, make them battle. It, it, the concept could work in a video game, but the longevity of these titles, they don't get brought up in good game conversations, so I'm wary about if it would be any good. Um, I'm sure Tugboat will tell me, I bet he's bought this. Uh, Micro Machines for the PS2. Now, I'm unfamiliar, I know there was Micro Machines V4 and then this just titled Micro Machines on the PS2. Not sure which one came first. Um, so, I'm intrigued to know if this is the good one or not, or are both bad, or are both good. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to play this, because I do love Micro Machines. Uh, the original 2, and then V3 on the PS1 was awesome. Heard not so great things about the new one that's come out on the Xbox One and PS4 in 2017. So, it's good to play the middle ground one on the PS2 and see what that's really like. I'm quite glad about picking that one up. Uh, Primal. Um, Again, a game I'm not so familiar with. That's the thing about the PS2, isn't it? Like, there's thousands of games, so it's kind of, you know, you probably owned 30 or something at your time and played a load more, and then there's still titles that you just haven't played or really heard of. Um, don't know a lot about this, so we'll see. State of Emergency. Now, I used to see this around. It looks fun. Not sure if it's a beat em up. I assume it is a beat em up. Interesting. I'm gonna have to try this one out. It does look a lot of fun. Uh, this is a lie, actually. This is I've just picked this off the shelf by accident. I picked this up uh, on a trip to Liverpool a few months back, and it's the Space Invaders Anniversary Edition. I assume it would be the 30th anniversary if it's on the PS2 from 2008, I'm guessing. Uh, but it looks like it's got a few different versions of Space Invaders and some information and museum type of stuff. Which, you know, Space Invaders is Space Invaders, but for £1.50, and because it's kind of a collector's edition, I thought that was worth picking up. Um, again, I think I got this at the same time. This is mainly for my wife. This is Shark Tale. And I'm intrigued to do a video on Will Smith based films, because I'm a big Will Smith fan, big Fresh Prince fan. And I remember Men in Black Game coming out on the PS1 and the PC back in the day. I remember Bad Boys 2 coming out on the PS2, and, and that was apparently poor. Um, obviously, there's Shark Tale. Not sure there's any other Will Smith related video games, so that would be an interesting sort of concept to do. And I think I'm going to uh, have to pick up Bad Boys 2 because I know that's cheap, and, and Men in Black on the PS1. I think they're both poor games. You'd assume, you know, this is Activision, DreamWorks collaboration, so it might be okay, it might be fine. Uh, then we've got Donald Duck, PK, if I'm saying that right, I don't really know. Um, not so sure about this, it might be okay. Disney stuff on the PS2 era. I wouldn't say it was their peak for video games. I know they got more popular, you know, back in the day. They were really popular on the NES and SNES, Mega Drive, etc. But um, during that era, not, not so sure. Obviously, I was in my early 20s, late teens, early 20s during that PS2 era, so wasn't really picking up Disney games. Um, <laughs> you can tell actually that it's uh, hot. My, my wife's uncle had these because obviously these would have been for his kids to play and stuff. Uh, Buzz Jungle Party, which um, obviously is pointless to me owning without any Buzz controllers. Um, I assume it's mini game sort of stuff, but you know, just there. Uh, Ninja Assault. Uh, this is a light gun game, which um, obviously I won't be able to play on a modern TV, um, which is why I love the Wii so much because it brought a lot of them games back, which you could use on a modern TV. Um, so yeah, I'm not that familiar with it, but it's a Namco one. Uh, they make Time Crisis? Don't quote me on that, I'm just trying to clock it in my head, but um, it was a Namco game and it's a shoot em, shoot em up game like that, then it's probably decent. Pro Evo 4, worth peanuts, but 
what a great series this was on the PS2. The greatest football games of that era were these games on that PS2 era. So, you know, I own Pro Evo 5 still. I bought 2, 3, 4, and 5 on the PS2 just all in a row and played them to death. Oh, they were good fun games. Uh, Seek and Destroy. Uh, I have no idea about this either. It looks like a sort of budget release that came probably later in the PS2's life. I Something to do with tanks. No idea, but we've got it here. Uh, Vampire Knight by Namco, which for some reason looks like a Resident Evil sort of cover to me, maybe, but um, again, it's a G-Con game, light gun game, um, so unfortunately, again, I can't play it, but uh, you know, Namco seems to drill them out a lot, didn't they? And finally, RC Revenge Pro, which um, obviously a racer. Um, whether it's any good, I don't know. I think the claim were on their last legs by the time they were publishing sort of the, in this era, so really don't have a clue. It looks a little bit cheap from the, the box and stuff, but when I get a chance to play these, I don't know. But um, it's, it's kind of been nice to be able to do one more big pickup sort of video um, before I, I cut, cut my collecting down a little bit. Um, and obviously these are good to dive into at some point. Um, Right, anybody own any of these games, played any of these games, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, you know, our numbers are pretty steady at the moment, we'll say at best. Uh, but it's nice to, to have a sort of a family of viewers watching. And I appreciate you guys do watch the show. And we will be back soon because uh, my baby's due in a few weeks. So there might be some interesting game related stuff there. Don't ask me what that really means, but we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, cheers for watching, guys. I'll catch you very soon.